Have you ever thought to yourself, wow, meditation sounds so cool? I've heard it can relieve stress and even help me sleep. I've heard it can even improve my attention span. I wonder what it'd be like if I meditated every day for one week. What would the results be? Look no further. I got you covered. Hey friends and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, then hello, a big welcome to you. My name is Julianne and I make videos about life improvement and health, nutrition, fitness. I myself am on a mission. I'm on a journey to improve my mental health, my physical health, as well as my nutrition. So if you want to follow along on my journey doing that, then please subscribe below. So yes, this last week I was meditating every day and I was actually following the meditations videos on the Good Phil YouTube channel. I will have those linked below if you want to check them out. I think they were actually really nice. But of course on YouTube, there are so many like guided meditation practices and also even just, you can find playlists like on iTunes meditation music and meditation sounds and there's different types of playlists for what you're looking for in your meditation. So there are definitely resources out there that are easily available. There really are so many science-based benefits of meditation and I wanted to share 12 of those that I found. Um, I will have the website linked below where I got this information because no, I don't have a PhD. I'm not like a doctor or anything in all of this, but it's very interesting and I do enjoy researching it actually. The first thing and the biggest thing is that meditation can reduce stress. And this is the biggest thing that I noticed when I was meditating this last week. So stress can cause disturbed sleep, depression, anxiety, it can increase your blood pressure, and it also causes fatigue. And in so many studies, meditation has been shown to drastically improve people's levels of stress. And it also improves their symptoms of stress-related conditions, such as irritable bowel syndrome, PTSD, and others. So I would say that stress is probably the biggest thing that meditation can help you with and probably one of like the quicker things that you will see results in. Number two is that stress can help control anxiety. So studies show that actually the best results of meditation and anxiety were in people with the highest levels of anxiety. So the higher levels of anxiety that you have, the more that meditation will help you. And also meditation was shown directly to improve stress reactivity and also to help people develop coping skills. Number three, meditation has been shown to promote emotional health. It can lead to improved self-image and also a more positive outlook on life. And it also improves the symptoms of depression by decreasing levels of inflammatory chemicals and inflammatory chemicals in the body have been shown to have specific effects on the brain which have strong associations with depression and other psychiatric disorders. Number four, meditation can enhance self-awareness. It may help you develop a stronger understanding of yourself and helping you grow into your best self. And this comes through with a lot of time of self-reflection while you're meditating. Number five, meditation can improve your attention span. Studies have shown that it improves your attention span and also your accuracy when completing tasks. Number six, Meditation has been linked to reducing age-related memory loss. Studies have shown that it can boost your memory and mental clarity with regular practices for longer periods of time. Number seven, meditation has been shown to generate more kindness. It helps to develop positive feelings, first towards yourself and then towards others. And it has been linked to increasing positivity, empathy, and compassionate behavior. Number eight is that meditation can help you fight addictions. There have been studies that, that link it to increased self-control and also a better awareness of triggers for the addictive behavior. Number nine, meditation can greatly improve your sleep and it does this by helping you relax and controlling runaway thoughts that can interfere with you falling asleep. 
This can shorten the time that it takes you to fall asleep and also increase the quality of your sleep. Number 10, studies have shown that meditation could actually help to control pain. And it does this by diminishing the perception of pain in your brain. And studies have shown that it can reduce pain, improve your quality of life, and reduce depression of people that suffer from chronic pain. Number 11 is that meditation can decrease blood pressure. And this can be directly when you're practicing meditation and also throughout your life if you practice it regularly. And number 12, the last benefit of meditation that I'm sharing with you today is the accessibility. And that is simply because meditation does not require any specific equipment or any specific space. You can do it anywhere and you can do it for a short period of time every day and still see really good effects. And so for my experience, doing it for one week every day is that some things I really did notice a big difference and other things not so much. Obviously, things like the memory loss, that would have to be throughout your lifetime and I'm not at the age where I have memory loss yet. I don't suffer from chronic pain, I don't have addictions, but what I do have and what I usually have quite a bit of is a stress. And after just a short time of meditating every day, I saw improvements in my stress. And that was actually really interesting because in that week, I was probably the most relaxed, even though it was such a chaotic week in my life. I just finished a 10 minute meditation. It was a meditation for anger because before doing it, I was feeling really frustrated about some things and it was kind of consuming my mind for a bit. So I did this meditation and afterwards, I honestly did feel so much better and I'm feeling Instead of feeling frustrated, I'm feeling motivated. I really love the themed meditations that are on Goodful because, I mean, I've never had a therapist before. I've never been to a therapy session, but it feels like therapy, you know? Somebody speaking to you and, you know, you choose the topic that you want and then somebody's like speaking to you and it's so calming, it's really nice. And something that was really interesting is that directly when I started meditating and directly afterwards, it was like a big release of negative energy and like negative thoughts. And just in general, I felt so much more positive like directly after doing it. And that's something that's kind of immediate and doesn't need a lifetime to do. And something that's really interesting and I have no idea if it's linked to meditation or not, but there was one day of the week that I did not meditate and on that day I had a mental breakdown. But I have no idea like if that's related to meditation or if that is just my life and it was time. You know, I just needed a good release of that energy in that kind of way and not just like a meditation session. But definitely for some of those other results that I listed, those are scientifically based and there have been studies showing that they do actually work and meditation can help so many people. But for a lot of those things, it comes with more time. One week is just not enough to see those kinds of results. One really interesting side effect that I had from meditation is my back. And I think when I first did it, I was following the meditation and the, the person said that you should be sitting like maybe cross-legged or something and with like straight back, head up, you know, shoulders back, good posture. And I don't know why, I don't think I have terrible posture, but like my back was sore. I, I was having a sore back in the beginning, like in the first few days, definitely. And I was like leaning against my couch to like, support my back a bit because I wanted to stand up really straight and have good posture when I was doing the meditation. But, you know, sometimes I was just focusing on that then. But I did see improvements there as well. So if I had bad posture, then I think it did get a little bit better with time because during the end of the week, I was feeling a lot stronger in my back and I feel like my posture did improve. So <laughs> that's just one 
random thing, not totally related to meditation, but like overall wellness, you know, it does relate. <laughs> but here we are, end of the week. I finished the seven days of meditation and I do encourage you to do the same. I think it really did help and you don't have to do it every day, even if you're just, just like try it once and see how it is. But for me personally, I do usually feel quite a bit of stress and this really did help with that. And so even just for that, I think that you should try it. So if you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up button below. And also if you wanna see more videos from me, then please subscribe, it really helps my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.